Good morning, Clock House. It's Tuesday and here we are with this week's virtual newsletter. It's definitely getting colder out there, so please make sure the children have come to school with coats and all the things they need because they will be going out in all kinds of weathers and they will still be doing outdoor PE, so please make sure that they're well dressed. Um, so where are we? Um, as you may have seen yesterday, I sent out a letter um, about advice and such all to do with COVID. That's because we do have a number of cases in the school and we're waiting for more PCR tests as I speak. Um, yes, it is a worrying time, but we're following all the rules we need to follow. When I was contacted by um, the local coronavirus response hub last week, they asked me lots of questions and everything we were doing was the right thing. In fact, they were surprised about how stringent our measures were. Um, obviously, we need you to help us with that. So if the children do show any symptoms, we need you to act quickly, which you have been doing, which is absolutely fantastic. And we thank you for that. Also, not hanging around in the playground, keeping moving as much as you can. Try not to get here really early so you don't have to queue. Um, all those things would just help slow down or stop the spread of the virus. It is a worrying time, but we've got to keep going. This is the new normal. Um, and I will let you know if there is a case in your child's class, although I don't have to, because that is up to track and trace. I, a whole way through, I've always been as transparent as I possibly can, and I've always been honest and open with you, and that will continue. So if you get a letter, that's just um, to let you know, and then if you wish to take your child for a PCR test, obviously you can do that. On to nicer things. Thank you to everybody who um, donated for Yellow Day. We're still busy counting the money. The children look fabulous. And we'll let you know the final amount when we get it. Um, today, a letter will be coming home about open evening. That's the first week after half term. And in response to your request, we are going to be offering a blended approach. So you can either um, have your parent consultation via Zoom or, all being well, you can do it face to face. And there's... Uh, on the slip at the bottom of the letter, you can say which one you would like and the teachers will do their best to accommodate you. Also next week, we will be having Bright Day again, next Thursday, not this Thursday, the following Thursday, the last day before we finish for school because we've got staff training on the Friday before half term. In memory of our much loved learning and support assistant, Natasha Brind, who some of you may remember sadly passed away very suddenly this time last year. So get your bright clothes out, parents join in too. And we will be raising money for cancer research, which was a charity close to Natasha's family's heart. So, apart from that, we've got lots of exciting things coming. We've got some trips starting soon. I know year one are out next week, and we've got a trip plan for year two and a trip plan for year four. So, lots and lots of exciting things happening at Clock House to keep us going during this time. Other than that, please stay safe. Please keep doing your bit. Only together will we get through this. And have a lovely day and I'll see you on the gate very soon. Take care. Bye.